Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another SPL game. Uh, today we have a UU game from week 3 between Christo and Bush Tush. So before we get the replay started, we'll look over the teams quick. You know, same process as always. But uh, yeah, looking at Christo's team, I like his team a lot. I actually have built a team with the same 6 mons as this. Um, I just think, yeah, pretty much just take advantage of all the broken shit. And you could play or SOU and UU this gen, so that's what Christo's doing. Uh, on Bush Tush's team, there's a nice Pidgeot squad. Uh, Pidgeot looks like it has a fairly good matchup. Um, the Manetric could switch in, but if the Manetric's not Mega Evolved yet, it's going to take a bunch from Hurricane regardless. Probably somewhere, I would assume, 45 to 50-ish would be my guess. Because, uh, yeah, main is, like, super frail, um, non mega So even if it's resisted, it's probably going to do about half. And then, um, you know, even when it's mega, it's going to get chipped. If rocks go up, it'll, it could only switch in a couple times to Pidgeot anyway. And then uh, after that, the Pidgeot could have a bit of a field day. But um, other than that... Uh, I would assume the Zemon is either Crook or Lottie, and the other one should be the, the Scarfer. Uh, probably Defog on Empoleon. I guess if it's Scarf Crook, it could also be like Rocks on Empoleon, Defog on Lottie, or like Rocks Defog both on Empoleon, although I don't really like that too much. So, uh, yeah, we look at lead here. We got Hydreigon on Crook. Uh, I don't think Crook could really do much to Hydreigon here, so probably Bushers is going to want to switch out, especially if this Hydreigon's like specs you don't want to take a draco and just die so i would assume that bush Tush, uh has a couple plays one would be good to empoleon that doesn't cover earth power but i don't think crystal would earth power here anyway even if he has that i mean it could also be like fire blast flash cannon uh double stab or if it's scarf it would have u-turn potentially defog so i feel like Empoleon's a pretty safe switch. The other switch that Bush Trish could make is into uh, Amoongus to scout, and obviously Regenerator's broken, so it's not going to really care what the Hydreigon goes for, and it could just regen it off. So I'd probably go into Amoongus if I was Bush Trish. You could also, like I said, go Empoleon if there's rocks on that and try and get up the rocks. So uh, Christo could just, I would probably just Draco here. Um, yeah, but that's, yeah. Or I guess if he has U-turn, go for U-turn. But yeah, we'll hop right into the replay now. So, see, so yeah, if Chris has U-turn, I think that's fine because, yeah, but I don't get why Bush just stayed in. <laughs> that's a wild-ass play. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It just gets rocks up in its face. <laughs> uh, that, that play was savage, yeah. That's why, like, if I was Chris, I honestly think you could have just draco to be honest. I didn't think... Draco was... A, I don't think it was that bad. Chipping the Empoleon for the, uh, for the Hydreigon later isn't bad either. So, uh, you know, just chipping it down. So, it, like, because eventually it's not going to be able to switch into the Hydreigon if you keep hitting it. So, I feel like you could have just draco would there. Uh, and then if you go Amoongus, that's not really too much of a problem either, I don't think. So now, uh, Christo, this Superior could have Defog. I would assume it's either Defog on this or on the Hydreigon. It is Defog Superior. So, obviously, a uh, free uh, Defog there because the Amoongus was always coming in for Bush Tush. And you can't really do anything to the Amoongus anyway. Uh, rocks are obviously on the Gliscor. That's why I said the Defog is going to be on the Hydra or the Serp, most likely. Uh, Scizor D Defog isn't that great, um, in unless you need it. Otherwise, usually running other moves on, on Scizor is a lot more appreciated. So you see uh, a, just Leaf Storm predicting the double. Goes into a Pidgeot, gets, uh, but Crystal does get some good chip off on the Pidgeot. I assume Bush Trish, what was he assuming to pivot into the Amoongus? The thing is, like, yeah, I... I feel like you could have just spored there if you were afraid of like a double. I think spore would have been fine. But yeah, instead you see, okay, Manetric hits itself. That sucks because I doubt it was going for electric move there because uh, I guess it could have vaulted. Yeah, I guess, but, I mean, Crystal could have vaulted there, but I would assume he would have clicked HP Ice. I think that would have been his better play anyway. And then this Crook would have gotten to a KO'd. But now we see it is actually Scarf Crocodile, and because the Manetric hit itself twice, it's going to die when it could have just killed the crocodile in two hits. So that's super lame. Um, and like I said, I think Christo, like when he got hit the first time on the crook switch, he might have vaulted, but if I was him, I would have HP iced because um, it would have covered, or it would have hit the Amoongus and the Latias both, and also the crocodile. So it, it would have covered like all of those switches. So that's why I feel like um, HP ice on his part would have been a fine play. And in that case, then the crook wouldn't have been able to trap the Manetric. But this sucks now because uh, Crystal doesn't have any switch-ins to the Pidgeot at all anymore. Uh, I agree with this play of just U-turning out there uh, because he couldn't really, like, nothing else was taking that hit. So, 
um, just using I had, or using a Gliscor as a pivot and just uh, you know to slurp up the one hurricane and get out and out of there. It was yeah, that was a fine play uh, because now Hydreigon comes in and I would assume Bush just here is going to want to go into the Empoleon uh, because the Empoleon is going to have defog if the rocks were on the Scarf Crook. Uh, so yeah, he could go into the Empoleon and try and defog. Obviously a good play by Crystal going for the U-turn, not giving this thing a free, um, free defog. So he goes to Azu, which is screaming maybe like banded superpower, potentially. Um, I don't know. I think Bush Tush, the, the thing is, if this is, uh, all right. So the Latias, he sacks Crook. Okay. So we'll see if Azu's, oh, Oh my god, man's going for game already. <laughs> Alright, so Crick's gonna die, right? But uh, Bush just could go Latias because Latias will live one hit. The problem is, the Latias has to be either Psychic Z or like Thunderbolt or something to kill the Azu. Because normal Psychic only does like 50. So unless the Latias has a move that can actually kill the Azumarill, it's game. Oh my god, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Alright, well game over, so we won't know. But yeah, like, a lot of like... Like, even, like, Call Mind, Dragon Z, like, Lottie, right? They run Double Stab, Call Mind, Roost. It can't kill Azu from 75, um, unless you have a Call Mind up. If it was the Electric, though, then that sucks a lot. And I think it might be, because this team, look how Bush Trish's team is too weak to, is way too weak to Belly Jump Azu. So if that was some sort of, like, Electric, if that was, like, the Electric Z set and he got crit, I feel really bad for Bush Trish, because that's super lame. Um, it was a pretty fun game up to that point too, but now Ozzy just wins. So yeah, nice quick one for you guys. Um, yeah, like I said though, I think that the Latias had to have a way of revenging Azumaro because the rest of the team all just dies to Azu. So you would, the one thing that could live plus six jet, you'd want to make sure it could kill it in one hit. So I'd assume that the Latias did have a way of killing the Azu. Um, yeah, it, and also, because if Bush Trish's Latias couldn't kill the Azumarill, then switching out the Empoleon was a misplay anyway. Uh, because at that point, you kind of needed to stay in and try and Scald Burn. But, um, yeah, the fact that he switched out the Empoleon pretty much tells me that the Latias had a way to revenge kill. And unfortunately, we didn't get to see. So, uh, yeah, Christo's going to win this game. A um, little bit of hacks on both sides, to be honest. Uh, obviously, the... The um, flinches, or, or I'm sorry, the hitting itself, the Minetric hitting itself in confusion twice was really shitty for Christo, but that hex probably wasn't as important as, well, obviously it was not as important as the crit on the Latias, so that sucked for Bush Tush, but either way, a nice hexy game. Get this thing over in five minutes. Uh, maybe I could record something else tonight. You guys get some nice juicy vids uh, tomorrow when uh, Doc wakes up. So, uh, yeah, we saw Christo was on the Tyrants, and he won, um, so giving the giving the tyrants a three to two lead over the runers up to this point uh, if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like comment subscribe and until next time ultra pulls out peace